After months of campaigning, it all comes down to this. I encourage people to get out here and vote because that's why we're given this opportunity. Folks in the town of Matthews drop by the library Friday to vote early. There's just days left before Election Day and both candidates are making their final push phone banking and knocking on doors. Every day this campaign has gotten better. Republican Dan Bishop, who has been out fundraised by his Democratic rival, is getting a boost from national conservative groups that are spending millions on ad buys in this traditionally Republican district. They've been active uh, in, in the campaign to help us even up a playing field which was otherwise horribly tilted. Special guests are also dropping by to voice their support for the candidate, including President Donald Trump, scheduled to hold a rally in Fayetteville. I think it'll be a great opportunity for people to see the president and hear from the president because the president believes this race is important. How do you combat having the president here on the very last day before the election day? We're just going to keep doing our thing, keep uh, talking w with voters. Across the aisle, Democrat Dan McCready is emphasizing his ground game. He says they've had more than 2,000 people volunteer with the campaign. In the face of all these negative attack ads, if we actually have somebody talking with them at the doors, or, or on, on the phone about needing to work together, you know, bring, bring this country together to lower health care costs and strengthen our public schools. I think that can really cut through. It's worth noting that McCready's camp is also receiving assistance from outside spending groups. Internal polling for both sides shows this race to be neck and neck, meaning every vote is going to count. Reporting in Matthews, I'm Kevin Fry, Spectrum News.